Good morning from Guam. Nice thing about being in a tropical island is it's warm, most warm all the time, and today it's windy and it's sunny, but I guess it's partially cloudy. Anyway, I am going to tell you a little bit about a personal story. I'll do a little bit of movement around that personal story. And then I'm going to tell you a little bit more about those of you who may have been raising families and have taken a little time out of your dance therapy career, or maybe you're more of a somatic practitioner, and you want to reignite your career. You feel like something's been missing, that you've been swamped with community and family obligations and you really are feeling like what happened to that that light, that passion I had for this incredible work of dance movement therapy or whatever somatic practice you might be involved in. Um, I've been there. I, and uh, the injury that I'm going to be speaking about comes from when I was quite isolated and had two young children. So I was living in, where was I moving? I think I was moving to Sicily when this started. I um, went to three... Uh, Bikram yoga classes and I loved the heat and I got hooked and I found not only did I find Raquel Welch's book in the library but I found um, uh, I got bought an audio tape that Bikram had made himself now I am not a fan of Bikram in terms of his personality his abuse of women and he is not somebody I've spent time with, but I don't throw the baby out with the bathwater, or at least I try not to. I still like his practice, and I've had some incredible teachers in practice. So anyway, as I was trying to teach myself this practice, and one of the poses is this standing forward bend, where you bring your hands under your feet, and then you're trying to put your head towards your shins and I had you know one hip that was higher than the other and so I was also taking another yoga class on the base in Sicily where we were living and uh, I pulled something in here so that when I'd sit like this you know I couldn't go you know down it was like I was like this and because physicality had been such a huge part of my identity as a dancer and a dance movement therapist, I um, was pretty bummed out. I was also very isolated living up in a little village called Tregestani, which is on Mount Etna. It's above Catania. Um, I had very few friends. Uh, I stayed home a lot with my youngest son, and uh, I'll admit I let him build his train tracks and watch Thomas the Tank Engine or uh, play a video game called Lego Loco so I could do a bit of movement practice. So this injury took me back into lots of the things I learned when I was a student at NYU, and it started a little bit with Ideokinesiology, uh, Andre Bernard's, it was my teacher, and it was about, you know, being in constructive rest, and then imagining things in the body, so that was one thing I did. I started with that practice, and then I went directly back to my uh, Neo Rock, all my Bartiniev work, so I would go through all that work of uh, the Bartinia fundamentals that I was learning, that I had learned, and I 
also was doing some yoga practice. And then because I did not have a practice partner, I would practice authentic movement solo. So this went on for, you know, a little while. I was also doing some of the artist way and simple abundance practices with gratitude and writing morning pages and things like that. I was trying to sort of regain my creative self that had been very immersed into my children. And my youngest was probably only about two and a half at the time, and my oldest was at school, so he was probably in second grade or something. And I one day, you know, this is, I don't know how long into the injury this is, because this injury, I don't know, went on for a little while. I was practicing authentic movement and I began to just hold different parts of my body and maybe even, you know, give a little kiss and just appreciating and loving them. And I was just doing this around my body and I got to my injury site and this message came through, lesser and greater trochanter. And I went, what? <laughs> I hadn't thought of that specific anatomy word, you know, in decades. So I quickly ran and got my Bartinia book, and I read about the greater trochanter with the thigh lift. And sure enough, when I did this, every day I had a little pull in there and as I got better you know I could feel that pull go away and that that experience just like was such a profound moment of you know healing in my body but also we know is that the healing is not just about a physical injury but there is also the emotional side, the story we tell ourselves, you know, there's so much more about the injury. But for me, it was such a profound moment of where I'd return to my practices um, and really discovered the depth of all that training I did those years in New York and even further when um, Monica Meehan McNamara was in Boston and I took every class I could with her and deepened my experience of the La Bon Bartinia systems work. And I, and I continue to, of course, uh, practice um, authentic movement as well. So these are very profound parts of uh, of our system that we work with. So um, I just want you to sit with how is that story resonating with you? You know, what's what are the bits of that story that, you know, awaken something in you or bring up a feeling or a story of your own? And just give yourself a little bit of movement in that story. And I'm just feeling like, oh, I don't know, I want to kind of open up, come through the center and open up. You may have a totally different experience. Whatever your response to my story is, Give yourself a few minutes to move that. I'm feeling like moving on the floor. You might want to move standing. I'm also feeling like I'm going through the center and then extending out. So there's something lovely to me about that. And, and I was doing this work long before I found um, Peggy Hackney's book, but once I found Peggy Hackney's book, again, many, many, many things integrated, just like when Janet Adler wrote her book. 
so much of me went, yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I've been very blessed with having lots of embodied experience and then later reading about it and that helps me deepen the connection. We all, have, we all have different ways around this. So I'm just moving my response to my story today, which is about 21 years later, maybe. And you may have a completely different little movement that's coming up for you. Just let, let that slowly unwind and move through your body. And soon I will begin, begin offering a program where those of you who are really wanting to get back into this work and remember what you remember, build your confidence in returning to the practice, um, I will be offering clearly lots of movement experiences. We will have opportunities to lead in small groups to gain that confidence so that you can remember gosh what was this work about this work that really has moved me deeply and what is it about this work that I like doing with others what's the population that really uh, moves me deeply who I'd really like to work with so if there is any interest um, you can message me or you can comment under this video, but um, I just wanted to share just a flavor of me and my background <laughs> and my story. So have a lovely day.